hiyo picha moja ya nimeweka IG ile yenye nimeva suti because very many people asking what do you look like nikaamua waacha ni waoche Hi guys, karibuni sana to this channel and my name is Carol Kuyo and today I am joined by the OG. Someone really? called me the OG. <laughs> <laughs> the OG of backpacking and she's Rin Ruby. As you know her from IG. What is your government name? We we. <laughs> okay. Hi. Uh -huh. My official name is Irene. So Rin is from Irene. Then Ruby, as explained uh, in in a previous IG story, um, my mom was supposed to name me Ruby. Long story short, my dad registered me as Irene. So, and I really like that name, Ruby. So, Rin, Ruby. But my official name is Irene Ojiambo. <laughs> so, to Mombasa, we are at Sarah's place. If you watch the vlog on searching for a house in Mkomani. Yes, we didn't end up there. She got another one in Bamburi. And she gladly offered this place for us to film. And the audience is chicks. You see in one of the vlogs, in one of the systems. <laughs> and what else should I say? So video we call sponsored by Sarah to say me. We have to mention our sponsors. Yes, so, and I'm glad we were joined by them. So, I met Green through IG, Instagram, and that was in 20, I think 2019 or 2018. I can't even remember, but I don't know who mentioned you in there. Someone mentioned, yeah, it's always like that. Someone mentions, someone mm. mentions. Ivo Ivo tu muna pata muna follow Yana. Yeah. Yes. So, Green. Yes. I'm going to be following something. No someone problem. defined you as the OG. Someone said female OG, but me, I, I would say the OG of backpacking. How do you feel about that? <laughs> It's a nice title. Yeah. It is. It is. I won't lie. It's a nice title. So what does backpacking mean for someone, for a kid out there listening? Because I know I have nephews, younger kids listening. Wow, this Was reminds me. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of my high school days. Define so and so two marks. Anyway, um, how well would I describe backpacking? Basically, it's just traveling for cheap. Like mm. you use any method that you can, any method that will come your way to move to the next place. Be it hitchhiking, uh, couch surfing, that is getting free accommodation, and basically that, using public transport as opposed to Ubers and whatnot, yeah. eating by the roadside, food muenda instead of going to hotels and or restaurants and ordering food. Like basically, I just save up my money, kabisa, mm -hmm. then spend it elsewhere. So the things which can, I mean, I can cut on, I cut on properly. Yeah. Then I take my money elsewhere. On the experience. Yeah. So, must you have a backpack? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's yeah. where backpacking, that's where the whole name backpacking comes from. Yeah. So a backpack, because of course you can't expect to see me with a suitcase. Mm. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh <laughs> hell no. Nah. You can't. Yeah. So backpack, easy. Easy ways to move around, mm. so that's where On the low budget. Yes, low budget, and like a small bag, and you're good to go. And how many backpackers are there in Kenya? I don't know, but I don't know honestly, unless I start counting them one by one. And I'm afraid I'll leave out some of oh, them. Oh, yeah, I love them to open the way I don't finish. Yeah, so I know most of, most of, the, of the people who are watching. Yeah, I'm sure it's a funny from Bendeako. They'll come here and be on video to see, to hear you talking. And I know most of them have followed the journey, but maybe yeah. to those who have not followed the journey, you can talk about your backpacking experience in East Africa, Nakosto. You could tell us more about that. You're in Kosto now. You're August entanglement with the coast. Uh, coast. <laughs> So, you know, I, I came to the coast, um, I was talking to S, Belinda, most yeah. of you know her as Belinda, so I was talking to her, and she was in Nairobi, then I was like, yo, when are you going back to the coast, she told me this and this date, and she was like, I was like, yo, I wish you could just come to the coast, because the last time I was there was in mm. 2008, can you believe it? 2008. I told her, me, as long as I get a place to sleep, since my budget is not that extensive as long as just a, as long as i just get a place to sleep mm. i'll sort myself out on yeah. the rest 
So she was like, I can host you. Wait. <laughs> what up? I think I can host you. <laughs> Kona joke, some more serious. I just told her, tell me when you're going. Yeah. And the means that you use to Mombasa, Mimi, my bag is ready. I only had 10 years from my piggy bank. Ile ya kurusha ma 20 bobs and 10 bobs. That's the one yeah. which financed my trip when we started. So I had 10 G's. Which I was like 10 G's and as long as I have accommodation, I can do, do some things around mm. Mombasa, mm. then I go back home. Everything was financed by my piggy bank mm. when I was starting off. So I didn't feel that Uchungu, yeah, mm. the professor could travel. Though me, I never feel pain. <laughs> I try anything to do with travels. Yeah. I, Mimi, I watch Nilale kwa mabati mwana. But I have gone. Yes. Yeah. And so how you you came to Mombasa? Mm -hmm. You did Mombasa, Kilifi, a bit of Kilifi? Yeah, I did Mombasa, I did Kilifi, I did Malindi. Mm. Then I came So you back. knew Narudi after Malindi. Yeah, right? after Malindi I knew see my trip is done. Yeah. So me I'm going back home. And then bam, your family, your IG fam. Then my IG fam. By that I was I was putting up stories on I, on Instagram, I guess I have a very interactive uh, IG family and I'm really grateful for that. Mm. So my IG people, there's one, okay, he told me to keep it on the low. So he told me, yo, there's no way you've reached Malindi and you can't go to Namu. Yeah. Give me a personal number. Tell me when you're ready, I'll, I'll, I'll wire the funds. My IG followers, I just can't watch IG followers are doing it. And that was that. So basically, from Mal after Malindi, the whole trip has been sponsored by my IG family. Yes. Malindi, I went to Lamu, I went to Diani, round two, but for different activity. Mm. Then I went to Shimba Hills, I went to Vanga. Vanga is my mother recently. Of course, over to Tanzania and yeah. then back. So it was, it was crazy. But long story short, because I don't want to talk much, mm. you guys will get bored. Party was just wild. <laughs> Party was wild. I had a creepy boda boda guy. Mm. Very creepy, gosh. And you see, Ebu look at me. Me, I look tough already. Like, <laughs> I have a resting bitch face. Yeah. And I still found that guy to be creepy. Sembusa nyinyo yeni masofti apa all. And listen to my voice. My voice is very husky. Now, nyinyo yeni ma. <laughs> Girly girls now. Nah. Yeah, that's really come to my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Me some the things I've done, some some of them I don't even encourage you to do if you're doing them. Mm. But now for party, I don't want to stereotype party on this vlog because I'd redo party. Yeah. But mm -hmm. on condition equidatory is not that I am sleeping over there or mm. I get someone actually I'll give that to a company a shout out. They reach out to me because uh -huh. they saw my misery, my 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 problems. Uko pate. Okay, name By the way, we organize trips to pate ah. at this at this. Uh, I mean, I think it's women exclusive trips. Mm. I love people who take care of women yeah. exclusively. Gosh. So he or she, I'm I'm thinking it's a she. She organizes trips to pate island. They have homestays over there. You know, local people mm. connections connections. Party accommodation alarm. Will you leave that? A G. Yeah. One thousand. Yeah. Accommodation. Every. By the way, I only pay a G maximum. Me, I don't pay more than a G. Afuna. I. A G. A G. So so. A G. So so. It's a G. A G. So so. Yeah. It's a G. Great. Um. So that was cost. Yes. Lamu rather. Okay. I've, yeah, I've talked about it. Yeah. The other you can, you can check on Instagram. Yeah. Now is Africa. Most people here maybe you may follow after you doing Costo. Yeah. But you've done the craziest. Uh, yes. Yeah, East Africa. How was that? Leeds! <laughs> it was Leeds. <laughs> I'd redo it yeah. over and over again. Yeah. It was Leeds. I wish I had more time, like the way I have time right now. Mm. You know, I only had like two weeks. And uko hakuna kuweka siku moja tia kupumzika because you know by this and this day you're supposed yeah. to be at work. So, so you did just mention the yeah it's like it's how it went. So I started off at Nairobi, Kenya, moved to Mwanza, Tanzania through the Isebania Sirare border. Then from Mwanza, Tanzania, spent a night there. I moved to Kabanga Kovero border, Tanzania, Burundi spent a night there then from 
kobero to bujumbura uh -huh. then pate na uko nini nini bujumbura went to kitega then i went to romonge and i spent spent some few days in bujumbura uh -huh. and burundi as a whole but burundi is beautiful so mazana nayo then to rwanda the kanyaru border burundi mm -hmm. and rwanda mm -hmm. then nikasonga to uganda what's the name of that border again gatuna katuna depends on which side you are mm -hmm. on then busia kenya uganda then na 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 nairobi <laughs> wow those yes. two weeks yeah two weeks about 16 days i bet yes so tell us the most the most wonderful experience that you had like in those countries i really really enjoyed burundi because i mean how many people think of burundi as a destination Not many exactly days. the moment you just mentioned burundi people are like why kifo mm. mazishi so me i had my contact people there by the way everyone who's helped me out crazy trips zangu mm. i met them on instagram instagram is so i was searching on burundi hashtags are burundi mm. searching 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 Hey, I'm not seeing any coverage. I'm like, yo, Kwani, how does this place look like? Then I came across just one hashtag, my Kirezi. I think, oh, yeah. yes, I think Kirezi oh. in Kirundi means jewel. Uh, so my, my jewel, Ikirezi, I guess. Yeah. Or Kirezi, I, I don't know. So I found that one hashtag and it led me to a page mm. which was, which is being run by an age mate, like our age mate. Wow. Um, She's in London, but she's showcasing Burundi for what she is. Like yeah, so she's... I got babies, thank you. Mm -hmm. Leo season. <laughs> <laughs> Leo! So, so, yeah, she came through. Um, She gave me her contacts. Mm -hmm. But then she was very, very happy. She was like, wow, no one ever thinks of Burundi. Wow. Like I'll give you my number. I'll give you. I'll give you so and so's number. You coordinate stuff. You get there. That, that's what I did, man. I found myself in Burundi. That's nice. Burundi was amazing. Come to think of it, like you know, and like most of Burundi. Painfully cheap. Pain. How much would someone need? Fifteen k. Twenty k. Fifteen k. You can survive properly. Because accommodation was paying seven hundred. New by Natasha na uko mpaka siju happy. And a big bed. Yeah, and, and for how many days? How many nights did I spend in Burundi? Is it four or five? Yeah. I'm not I'm not quite 15, sure. Fifteen thousand for everything. Compared to You know there's a day I spent fifteen hundred Kenya shillings. I ate, I used public transport, I used a taxi, I bought food, yeah, I ate. Uh, what else? <laughs> Park charges, entry charges, Mahali na Yeah. And I still paid for food. Uh, wow. Burundi is cheap. Like, it's it's even told me Rwanda also the same thing. Not yeah. necessarily. Rwanda you can, but Rwanda is not as cheap as, oh. as Burundi. Like even me as a Kenyan, when I go to Rwanda, I'm like, wow. <laughs> so the most expensive country in East Africa. You know, by the way, when you talk about East Africa, I'm supposed to include South Sudan. Mm -hmm. But Jafika Oko, because of visa. Why the hell do you guys put visas? Five Gs, ah, Mr. Kiyomaneno. <laughs> yeah, so South Sudan is part of East Africa. So most expensive is Rwanda, followed by Kenya and Uganda, but I'd, I'd put Kenya, mm. then Uganda, then Tanzania, then Burundi. Yeah. South Sudan, I'm not quite sure because never been there. Yeah. Yeah. So if people want, if you guys want to get maybe an itinerary from for a country, I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm my the cheap man. people, not my like cheap, like my. They my get job. it. They Upinyiria get it. Pesa. <laughs> Hit her up. She attack to get there for being a fool. Yeah, I'll, I'll come up with my red card once I get back home. So the red card. The red card is your card. It should be the next card. Condition I'll be having. Yeah. To that friend. So, when they lay your story out, your experience, mm -hmm. and you people see all the glam, people see you living life up or on a post my picture, but they never see the, the back, the, like they don't know what what happens mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Yeah. So what happens behind the scenes um, during your travels, before your travels, and also talk about your lifestyle, what lifestyle changes have you made, so that okay. you can be able to... Yeah, I, to make, I, yeah. yeah I get you. So uh, behind the scenes, um, planning. 
you know but there it's one thing ndio maana ikazi si abure like it, it it's one thing to to tell someone when you go to malindi visit this place mm. visit this place visit this, this place there's one thing kuko na places where you want to go and there's another thing to access those places you don't know how long it takes from point a to point b mm. so imagine every single night since i told you me i live like a pigeon mm. especially this mombasa trip i don't have a set itinerary like i'll think about it jioni what i'm going to do the next day ah. so but ikibidi i'll have prior information like beforehand nitakuwa nimefanya research and what not but kila saa tuko tuko sim bundles trying to look for places to go and how to access those places what i need timings there's a lot which goes yeah. a, a lot mm. so this is also like part of what i'd love to do fully mm. yes plan for you an itinerary i advise you on this and this i give you necessary contacts you pay me you go have fun you come on and begin and sort plus so behind the scenes that's number one. a lot a, a lot a lot wow. then again you have to be in touch with the locals who you visa and who be sure about what you want to do security of places accessibility usigongwe fair malindi mulindi ibia fair Mm. I <laughs> not not really but it was quite funny you know i consider myself to be street smart so me sulem tuna kwa taken the idiots but those homies man you play with me mask malindi yeah so mask eh wana vatu mask hivi wanajua huyu si hapa so places where i supposed to pay 70 bob i pay 150 and i came to know later on after i paid 150 twice and then i paid 80 bob then i just kept on complaining there money for a backpacker mimi na kwambia the following day and the fan will be 150 i have 50 bob tunapatania 70 hapo hapo that's a, it felt it felt bad because every single coin matters me yeah. not a luxury traveler every single coin matters mm-hmm. I those two small small 10 bucks i yeah do you go through burnout uh burnout is real um after i was done with my east africa trip me but a burnout because you see i didn't have i didn't have time yeah, to rest during those two weeks see like two this after this after this utapumzika nairobi But this time I don't think if I'll get burnout because I've been resting even two days katikati. Even though that rest to rest I move even because mm. sina at you're supposed to be at work by this and this day no. So most of the time I have malaria. By the time I was finishing my East Africa trip me when me fika what's it called Uganda and was like yo I'm not feeling so good but mm. I need to finish this. Mm. So my body sustained me nikamaliza but when I got to Nairobi even though the end kama nimeenda chemist kutoka dawa za malaria then since my boss is nice and my HR, uh, scratch that my direct <laughs> my direct boss is nice um he understands what I love doing he was like you know if you know it was like yo you just take I think I went back to work on a Thursday mm. like, come back on Monday go and rest yeah yes so burnout mm. yes you go through burnout okay yeah so most of the five year olds mm. are wondering how you are able to afford this lifestyle how you are like how don't <laughs> <Don't know. laughs> yeah so tell us how you would do that so um mm-hmm. first things first there's this thing called privilege me have a privilege of living i have the privilege of living with my parents silipi rent sinuni chakula silipi bills stress it okay what <laughs> my money is mine and mine alone i work i work to sustain my trips mm. yes it's that simple so if you have the privilege of living with your parents yeah. why do you guys rush to move get out. A, uh, to move out a lot of your private life Get for what? I don't I don't get it man. I don't. <laughs> yeah, the same one will be com- the same person will be complaining, "Eh, hey, woko na pesa ku waste as we have bills to pay." My <laughs> lord, those are your own choices. <laughs> so me live with my parents. I had only moved out for two months due to unavoidable circumstances. Then the run happened and I'm back home. So I don't feel any pinch. Yeah. Yes, and my parents understand what I love doing. So at no one gives me pressure at you buy mm. water so you buy mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm not planning to move out anytime. Like I don't 
miaka 40 itanipata kwa my mother so I'm not moving out. People don't actually know you don't you don't use Uber. Oh, last year last year Jesus. So as I was explain oh yeah, so I am a hotelier. And I am a meetings and events coordinator. So that should explain that I do lots of plannings, meetings, the corporates. Musunione hivi we na kanga pa thug life. Sometimes I have a corporate image. So yes, um, sometimes we host our bookers, the, the, the institutions which give us business. Kwa hotel yetu. Yeah, I plan on. We call them bookers parties. So. We host them, they eat, they drink, just to show a sign of appreciation. Like, thank you for the business that you're giving us. So, yo yo take it happen, there's food, kuna ma drinks, and since mimi nitakuwa kazi, I'll still get an Uber back home. So don't compare yourself to me at the age, she clubs, she does this and that and that, na bado, sijui ya na, ya 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 ya, utapasuka msama. Don't try that. Which other thing? So I can't remember the last time I I spent even a single cent mm. when I work club. So you make sure you cut on every every luxury out. Luxury is go out. Salon wise, my hair is low maintenance. Tangu January mpaka sasa ni menda salon once. That that was in March. I went because I knew cousin and Like mm. if I, if the runner was to start in January, I'd have not gone to the salon. Mm. <laughs> yeah, actually, actually like my yeah, hair too. looking crude. Uh, shoes and clothes, no, okay, this is how I reason. If I am to buy a pair of shoes or if I am to buy some clothes, I'm like, how much is that? Like two G's. Um, two G's uh, is enough for two nights somewhere. So, do I really need the shoes? Nah. Next, your person, I rush up piggy bank. Sayo, sayo, then you forget about it. Yes. So, it's, it, it's about priorities. Another thing. I don't plan on getting married, I don't plan on having kids, I don't plan on buying a house, I don't plan on buying a car. I think the only thing I'd want to own is a motorbike. Siezi kuwa naizi mapresha zote at this age. I'm just a kid. Like, am I supposed to work really hard? So by the time I get to enjoy my money, I'm like 50 years old, then I work for, I, I, I live for like 10 more years, I love una daddy. Aji, aji, sasa. Aizi. Aizi. Yeah. So... It's that simple. Mm. Use your privilege and just be smart about it. Mm. So that's how I am able to fund my travels. Yes. Uh, and mm. would you travel um, in a group? Well, I have traveled in a group. I've done two group travels mm. from, I think, Nairobi to Moshi, then Arusha. But I don't like group travels because. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so number one group travels my issue with group travels is that people don't respect other people's time that's mm. number one mm. so the first time i went to i used the travel agency to go to to go to kikuletwa the famous hot springs in tz ukomoshi arusha mm, let's say you're supposed to leave nairobi at 6 30. 6.30 mnaanza kuambia whatsapp group unaanza whatsapp oh don't leave me hey hey i'm coming muna toka nga nairobi muna toka nga nairobi 7.30 yeah so by the time you reach a place hata hamja kumzika ena okay this is how it was yeah tuka fika tuka toka nairobi kitu 7.30 then from nairobi by the time you reach the place you're supposed to reach first stop you don't experience it kabisa because you have to wait wait for people watu walichelewa you don't have enough time you find yourself moving on to the next thing. You siku, there was partying and clubbing the whole night. Allah for the morning, the following morning, we go to Kikuletwa, come to my Nairobi. Guys, we're going to a club 5 a.m. Mm. And we are supposed to leave for the next stop for Kikuletwa at around 7 a.m. 7 a.m. 7 We're going to end up in the Toko Sanne. So what's that? Mm. What's that? We're going to talk Sanne. By the time you reach the hot springs, you just enjoyment ni dakika mbili tatu then eh masaa mbaya masaa mbaya need to go nigga we just reached <laughs> so things such things don't add up like they, they don't make sense and they really really annoy me so but the smart thing which i did in such a trip um since i knew that guys how ngi amka mapema t6 you are fine to go kwa barabara tunaenda to the new spot 
I woke up at around 5 a.m. Nikangoja kajua kakuja hivi kidogo. Mimi took a motorbike and I went and toured the whole town, Moshi town. Mm. I just had contact here. Yeah, yes, I, I had contact the the tour leader nikamwambia mkitaka kutoka mniambie mimi I'm ready. So that's what I did. I still partied but si sana then the following morning mimi nikaenda kuzurura Moshi. Mm. And that was an extra thing for me. I only spent 100 bob. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's great. How do you remain relatable? How do you remain authentic in all your on 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 your social media platforms? Okay. The thing is, yeah, just be true true to yourself. Just own yourself. There's no one who will be you own yourself. Mm. This is how I am in normal life. Like I am just me. It's always good to maintain that cuz you end up you find yourself you're doing things naturally. Like you're not forcing stuff, yeah? Mm. Everything flows. Yeah. Everything flows. Everything flows. So it's very important. Stick to what you've started. You know what? Um, travel has always been portrayed as something which is for the bougie, high class people. Mm. What I mean, anyone can travel. You, if you use my hacks, you'll have you you you'll save money. Mm. Oh, plus I stopped eating out. Did you at the, oh, let's go to art cafe. <laughs> Let's go to Java. Tawe. I stopped. Oh, phone. <laughs> I, st- I, I stopped. Yeah. Because again, food doesn't come cheap there. I mean, I, I'm at that stage where there is rice at home. So <laughs> that's where that, 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 that's that has helped me a, a great deal. Yeah. <laughs> so my niche is basically budget travel. Like you can travel with your own ten thousand. You small small money. You travel. You get to experience new cultures and new. But the, your mind opens up a good mm. one. I don't know how to explain. Kwanza when I did that East Africa circuit, yeah. oh gosh, my mind open. I mean, you view, you you see the world in a different perspective, mm. and it's, oh God, it's it's quite nice. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. So how do people support you? Plug yourself. Plug la, la, yourself. La, 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 la. That's that's hard, yeah. Honestly, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I write articles for magazines once in a while not all the time because it's not easy mm, and maybe you can plug some some not to a company mm-hmm. such but like let's treat oh so i'm let me let I me know plug your about. <laughs> yeah so other ways of traveling for cheap yeah there's this group called let's drift let's she'll put the link mm-hmm. somewhere there um I found them on Instagram. Like you see the way someone can have their phone like this and they're scrolling. Then I'm like, yo, hold up, let me see what's that. Then I saw guys touring the not so popular routes mm. and just hiking through and through and through. I was like, wow, this is something I'd love to do. Yeah, they came through and we've been good buddies. This is not sponsored. Mm. We've been good buddies. It's just that I find them real and with little money a, a g a thousand bob you subscribe for the drift for the hikes throughout the month yeah and you go for as many as you want to you only cater for your meals and and transport going to those places around kiambu county they're focusing on kiambu county not Nairobi. not kiambu Nairobi, but most uh, of the gems are in kiambu yeah so if you're on that side you can yeah so that. let's drift since i've worked with them mm. i'll plug them for free because i also don't want to put people here <laughs> like jina we could talk to me so okay thank you so much for being here and uh, to conclude maybe we can say what travel essentially boils down to you know something that you have pressure but you have luxury travel be true to yourself by the that's yeah. why I'm usually afraid of traveling with people. Yeah. Mimi have slept in some places which you people can't sleep in. <laughs> Mimi ni melala, let me just not talk about it. I've, I've slept in weird places. Mm. Places where I've paid five hundred bob a night just to put my head, I love us where I move. Mm. <laughs> I, I don't talk so about my accommodation. Twitch their own. So if you see me not uh, asking you to tag me along, just know that I don't give myself pressure because mm. you know I'm just free to be me. Nikilala juu ya juu ya mabati ni mimi. Mabeshte wana mchanga 5Gs. 5Gs 5Gs I love. Una shanga form ni gani? But then every single time I advertise for my trips on Instagram, I always say sitaki sumbua because no you you're not going to 
frustrates mm. me. I'm also trying to have a good time. I brought myself there. Mm. Mimi kilalajia mabati ni sawa. Mm. But since you want to travel with me, nikikuweza kulalajia mabati uende wiki huko the whole IG family story time. I eh, how we slept on a mabati. Wewe. Mm. Yeah. So that that's my fear. That's mm. my fear. Yeah. I don't I'm, I'm I'm usually ish ish about traveling with people but I'm trying to open up for the pole. I'm mm. trying to because I want I to do I want to do the East African circuit again with mm. someone with some people. Yeah. So yes. So what uh, people should mm. look at for that. Yeah. Mm. So thank you so much for being here Aki. Ukirudi usalimia tu Nairobi Guys, you know I get all what. It is not it is Ooh, something we. simple. Ooh, we. Ooh, we. <laughs> You know, it, took, it, 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 it took a lot from me, Amani, for me. What for me? Eh, hey, who <laughs> Because I'm very shy. Me na na kwa ngani mawata sa ufa Instagram like you, I'm usually shy. It's Njugus, oh, homemade it, Njugus. Fuchs. Yeah. So take this to your brother, your mom and dad. Oh, that's, that's that's. I thought okay. it was something really big. I was like, oh fuck. Me. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't like surprises. Funny thing, I don't like surprise, but thank so you. Sijuka must have can Nairobi, <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Thank you, Kuyo. Yeah, thank this you has been really nice. At least, uh, my, my, my phobia ya kukwa in front of the screen is fading away. Then we move this to come. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Tani pata. Yeah. Mini kodu. No, like other places. Like, Ooh, it's a my guy, interview. Guy, guy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and yeah. It's so, been real. Come on, point, comment down below. Comment. I honestly don't know. Tag like. Ah, tag like. Tag like. Comment up, yeah. Fuck it. I know the video is so long. Bye bye. Bye.